Well, hello, friends. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, I'm going to – this is a what – how the Montreal Canadiens made the finals. Not series, but video. And there's a lot of – all the whole team played very well. You had – the big question mark really was – and by the way, if you wish to subscribe and hit the bell, that'd be lovely – uh, the big question was Suzuki and Kokaniemi being 21 years old. Two top, their top two centers are 21 years old. And uh, going into it, I thought, you know, that was going to be very difficult for a young group like that to uh, be able to do what they're doing right now. And there's many other things. They didn't go into the playoffs looking very good. They were, of course, the last seed. All of those things, and here they are, of course, with uh, going into the finals. We know price is a beast, right? Without price, maybe if you trade goaltenders with any of the teams they beat, certainly Toronto, maybe Winnipeg, uh, Vegas seemed to not be able to find the goaltender that they were want, able to compete with because they kept on changing back and forth that that would be the case as well. I would definitely say price probably is the biggest reason why they won. But they also played extremely well as a team. They played a 1-1-3 defensive system and uh, confounded their opposition quite a bit. However, lots of teams play a 1-1-3. Lots of teams play it really, really well. There is a part that I don't think too many people are going to talk about and I think I could be incorrect here but I don't think so Corey Perry is in the background here Um, Corey Perry has been known as and for sure is at least one of the top irritating players of all time and I'm thinking in this playoffs you might be able to put him as the top First of all, he's a warrior. Check out what he's playing with right there. Look at the look on his eye. Like, so what? I got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. And that's what Perry does the whole game. He's talking to everybody going, you got nothing. You got nothing. But there's more than that. Perry is a guy, is an old school guy in a lot of ways. He plays an old school type game. Uh, I talked about it with what my thoughts that Perry might have had about the Evans incident behind closed doors but he would never mention it um perry will do anything and say anything to win and i think in this playoffs he's taken that to a level that is absolutely crazy the first uh series with toronto if you watch they were up 3-1 they were looking very confident and then, um, of course, the whole Taveras incident, which happens to be Perry. Now, you got to remember, and it, you look on there and you say, and not we say, it looks like Perry didn't mean to do it. It really does. Uh, but everybody in the Toronto room knows that Perry is the kind of guy that would make it look like he didn't mean to do it. At least he didn't try to avoid it that much. He's that kind of guy. I'm not going to say that he did or didn't, whatever. It doesn't matter. The fact is, he was the one that was the that need Tavares in the head and put him out. That's one thing. I think anybody in Toronto, uh, on the Toronto Maple Leafs, get over that, whatever the case may be. But something that Perry will do is remind the other team over and over and over again that they don't have Tavares. And he's going to make it seem like he did it on purpose, even if he didn't. On the ice, I bet you, okay, he's going to throw you off. He is an a-hole on the ice. He doesn't care what he has to say. And it looked to me, and maybe you guys can go back and look at it yourself, Matthews was making expressions like you don't usually see him make he was looking very defeated Marner was looking very defeated because Tavares is a friend of theirs and it was a terrible incident 
And Perry will come out and use that to try to win the game. Now, I know this sounds like really, like, so what? You just get over it. But there's a point in the human when I in the human spirit where it goes, do I even want to, like, does this matter? Is, is this, do you want to win this much? Is this what you want to do to win? Like, to, they get, you get offended by the fact that somebody is willing to say these things. I wouldn't even go, I'd go as far as to say as Price would say something to the effect, I'm glad it happened to Deveris. I'm glad. Good. Good it happened. You guys deserve it. You suck. So that's what you get when you suck. He would say stuff like that to drive you freaking crazy. And Matthews, Marner, and a lot of the team look like they had the steam taken right out of them the whole way. And a guy like Perry is going to make sure they're reminded as to why. He's going to bring up Tavares as much as possible. He wants that sick feeling in their stomach to come up all the time. Because you have a sick feeling in your stomach, and he even used the term. When he saw Evans, it gave him a sick feeling in his stomach. However, when he gets back on the ice again, Perry's not thinking about that. And you could try to push that back on him, and it wouldn't even bother him. That's the thing about Perry. Perry knows about separating what happens on the ice and what's not, what happens outside of the rink. He'll say he'll become a character. He'll do it. He'll become the evil guy to try to screw with your mind and affect you emotionally. And I think he did in Toronto. Now, I didn't think it so much at the time, although I did do a video before this where he um, it looked like Matthews didn't really like shaking his hand too much. And uh, Perry doesn't mind that. Now, go to the Winnipeg series. We have what happened with Shifley. And I have a video on that. You can go check it out. I think there was more to it that, that than what he got suspended for. But what I want to bring up here is Shif or Shifley is a guy that's kind of up for a lady bing all the time. He does not do this kind of stuff. But what most people will notice is at the end of that hit, the look in his eyes. He looked like he was freaking insane, man. This is the type of thing that guys like Perry can do. Is it the rest of the team as well? Maybe. I mean, Gallagher's pretty yappy and all that. But Perry's been doing this forever. And they've been talking about Perry doing this forever. He will make, he's the kind of guy I think, and I don't have any proof facts of this, but he would make, he would bring up your daughter that died three days ago if you thought it was going to drive you crazy like he's he'll go low as low as low as he will go so it's no saying what he has been saying to Shifley what he has been saying to them to get him to lose his mind and if you can do that to a guy who's normally a lady binger you're pretty skilled at it so now the final series that they come to I uh, game five I believe or was it game six no, it was game five. Sorry, game five. Stone and Pacioretty in that series looked like 16-year-old kids that were totally offended by what was going on in that rink. They were shaking their head like Stone looked like he didn't have it in him anymore. Like they, It looked like somebody had touched a nerve with him that made it so hockey didn't even matter as much. Sometimes a player can say something that is so ghastly that it enters into you and goes, this is sick. It's almost like you're saying win then if you're going to be, if that's what you got to do to win, if you're going to be like that, this isn't even hockey anymore. You're disgusting. And not all players react the way. Uh, when have you ever seen Stone react that way? I was going to bring it up here, but I couldn't find it. And I wanted to do the video. Go back, see if you can find the game six where uh, Stone gives up the puck and he doesn't even come back. And then he comes out afterwards. He's smacking his stick everywhere. He's losing his mind. And then they pan over to Pacioretty. And Pacioretty's just like, like they're saying, this is sick. This is sick. Is it because they're not playing well? 
or is it because also why they're not playing well? And people say, well, why don't you just get angry and try harder? The other thing that guys like Perry know how to do is hit the right guys with the right thing. They just have an instinct for it. And even after the Shifley incident, whatever happened with that, Perry probably would have been reminding them, you know, your Shifley piece of crap guy that you guys think is so great. Guess where he is now? You're never going to win without him. Now, that's normal stuff, right? That's normal stuff. When I played, I said that stuff all the time. You can't win without him. Look, you guys are idiots. He will take you down that way as well. He will push every button, but he'll go deeper. He'll go deeper. He'll go down where it hurts. If he has personal stuff on you, he will do it. I share this out. I'd love to see if it gets around to Corey Perry. I don't like. I'm no. I don't. I don't think I'm popular enough. But I would love to be brought up this to Corey Perry, and Corey Perry would probably answer. Which what go what's set on the ice stays on the ice. And that's the way it is. So tell me what you think. Should a team really let should players be able to affect have this stuff affect them? Should a player be able to say anything, anything on the ice? And do you think I have anything here? Or do you just think Montreal just played really well? Which I do believe they did. But it's all even Easier to play better when you have the team in their heads like that. When you're in their heads like that, emotionally, to, to str- almost emotionally decapitating them. And it feels like Price did that to me. Tell me what you think. I'm going to post this up. Uh, congratulations, Montreal Canadiens. You guys played amazing hockey. I, I, I didn't pick you to go to as far pick the Montreal Canadiens to go as far as they did. I actually am a Vegas fan, but kudos to you. And I love Perry. I, I, I'm an old school guy, so I don't know. I might lean on the side of what stays on, what's on the ice stays on the ice, and you have to separate that. And if you can't, you lose. That's my full 42. Subscribe. Tell me what you think, and have a great day. Okay, bye.